Hello everyone, welcome to our next video and today we are going to start exercise 4.3 of quadratic equations of advanced mathematics class 10. So without wasting any more time, let's dive in directly into today's video. This exercise is about solving quadratic equations and we will have two equations so these are going to be simultaneous equations where one is going to be a linear equation and the other one is going to be a quadratic equation and we are going to have two variables so it will be just like solving linear equation in two variables simultaneous equations so since we have one linear equation from here we can find either x or y in terms of the other one and then we can put that value in this one and solve just like a quadratic equation. So let's see how to solve this. First let us take this equation and let's try to find, suppose we are trying to find the value of x. So if you want to find the value of x, it will be 3x equal to side change 2 plus 2y and ultimately we are going to find x equal to 2 plus 2y by 3. So let us take this as equation number 1. Now we will move to this equation and what we will do here, we will put the value of x in place of this x. So let's go ahead and we will put 2 plus 2y by 3 whole square plus 4y square equal to 2. Now if we break, we will find a quadratic equation in just a single variable and we can find it accordingly. So let's go ahead. From here what we can get is we continue it, if we change the square root it will be twice y plus 1 equal to 0 or square root of 0 which is after all going to be 0. So now from here we can find y equal to minus half. When y is equal to minus half we can put that value in x and we can find the value of x. So therefore from 1, from equation 1 what we can get is x is equal to 2 plus 2y by 3 in place of y put this value 2 plus 2 into minus half by 3 2 2 cancel it is 2 minus 1 by 3 so it is 1 by 3 we have found the value of x and we have found the value of y so x is equal to 1 by 3 and y is equal to minus half and that's how you solve very easy use the linear equation to find one value put that value in the other equation try to solve the quadratic equation you will get the values here we are lucky we've got only one value because uh, we've got a perfect square right here. If we had not got a perfect square, we would find two values, one is positive, one is negative, and then we will find for two values for x, and we will see how to do that in our next sum. So let's move on to the next question. There are a few different types of these equations that we have to solve. So I'm not going to do all the sums, I'm going to show you each type of question, how you are going to solve each of these types. So this is our second type where the equations are a bit different. From 1 to 4 you are going to find similar type of questions. So just like we solved 1, you can solve 2, 3 and 4 in the similar way. But question number 5 is a bit different, so let's see how to solve this one. So again the same method, the method we are going to apply is going to be the same. From here we are trying to find x, so x is equal to 1 plus 3y. So we are going to take this as equation 1 and similarly we are going to put the value of x in this equation. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are going to have 1 plus 3y whole square, here sorry it is going to be minus then 5, x will be 1 plus 3y, again we have y, then we have plus 2y y square plus 2 equal to 0. So from here let us break the formula and let's see how to solve it. Now that we have got two factors, what we can do, we can go ahead and write either this is going to be 0 or this is going to be 0. So either y minus 1 equal to 0 which gives us y equal to 1 or we can get 4y plus 3 equal to 0 which will give us y equal to minus 3 by 4. So now we have got two values. So for each value we are going to find the value of x. So for, for y equal to 1 what we get is x is equal to 1 plus 3 into 1. So it is 1 plus 3, so it is 4. And for y equal to minus 3 by 4, this value that we are going to get is x is equal to 1 plus 3 into 
minus 3 by 4 that is 1 minus 9 by 4 that is 4 minus 9 by 4 that is minus 5 by 4. So we have got two values when y is equal to minus 3 by 4 we have got minus 5 by 4 as x and when y is equal to 1 x is equal to 4. So two values for y and two values for x. Again a very simple equation it just goes on a bit lengthy but actually the sums are very simple. So now let's move on to the next type of sum that we can solve. Now we are on to question number 8 and this is another different type of sum. So this is x plus y plus root xy is equal to 28 and here we have x square plus y square plus xy equal to 336. So this is a different type of sum and we are going to approach it in a different way. So how to approach this? This time we are not going to start with the linear equation, we are going to start with the quadratic equation and let's see how it works. So from here what you need to first what you need to think is you need to correlate between these two equations. These two equations seem very similar. How can we correlate between them? What we can do is we can write square plus y square. This one we can write plus twice xy minus xy. If I write twice xy minus xy will give plus xy. This is equal to 336. Now why did I do that? Let's bring these three together. What do we get if I bring these three together? It is x square plus y square plus twice xy means it is x plus y whole square and here we have minus xy. So I can write minus xy as root xy whole square equal to 336. Fair enough. I can do that. This will be the formula of x plus y whole square and this will be the formula for root xy whole square. The square and root will cancel out and we will get xy. So what I get here is a square minus b square formula and that is a plus b into a minus b. So let's write that. So it is x plus y minus root xy into x plus y plus root xy equal to 336. So it is a plus minus b into a plus b equal to 336. Now what I can do, I can use this value, let's take this as equation number 1 now, I will use this value to place here. What I get here is x plus y minus root xy into how much x plus y plus root xy, this value is 28. We can write 336, we will get a side change, it is x plus y minus root xy is equal to 336 by 28. So this value will be so let's write this x plus y minus root xy is equal to you can get from here is uh, 28 so 12 so we get here 12 so let's take this as equation number 2 so what we can do now we can add 1 and 2 so root over root over will cancel out and we can proceed ahead so what we will do now here is 1 plus 2 and what we get from that is x plus y plus root xy from here we will get plus x plus y minus root xy equal to 28 plus 20, 12, 28 plus 12. So what we get here, root x root xy cancel, it will be twice plus y equal to 40, that means x plus y is going to be 40 by 2, so we are going to get 20. We we'll write the formula and try to solve this. So let's break ahead and move on. So now we have got two values y equal to 16 and y equal to 4. So now we are going to take these two values and put it in equation number 3 so that we can find the value of x. So what we are going to do here, uh, for y equal to 16, 
we get is x is equal to 20 minus 16 which is equal to 4 and for y equal to 4 what we have is x is equal to 20 minus 4 which is 16. So here we have got again a set this is one set and this is the second set for the first set x is equal to 4 and y equal to 16 and for the second set we have x equal to 16 and y equal to 4. So these are the values that we get for these two equations x plus y plus square plus y square plus xy equal 36 and x plus y plus root xy equal to 28. So that's how you solve these sort of equations. If you find this sort of equation in any place, try to use this method. It will be very easy for you to solve. Yes, it is lengthy, but we can't help it. So let's try and solve it like this. And now without wasting any more time, let's move into the next type of video. Now we are on to the next type of equation and here we have a root over of a fraction root xy x by y plus root y by x equal to 10 by 3 and one simple linear equation of x plus y equal to 10. So now we are going to start with the linear equation. What we are going to do is the same process x is equal to 10 minus y. We are going to take this as number 1. Now let's move on to this one and let's see how can we apply this to this one. What we have here is we can take the LCM. So LCM is going to be uh, xy root over xy. At the top it is going to be root over x square plus root over y square or we can write root over x whole square and root over y whole square and it is going to be 10 by 3. Square root square root will cancel out we are going to get x plus y by root xy equal to 10 by 3. x plus y value we have which is 10 so it is going to be 10 by x root xy equal to 10 by 3. So 10 10 will cancel we are going to have root xy equal to 3. If we do squaring on both sides, it is going to be xy equal to 9. So it is squaring both sides, SBS. Okay. So now let's move ahead with this. Let's write it here right now. From here we are going to here. So we are going to use x equal to 10 minus y in this equation. So if I write 10 minus y into y equal to 9. And from here we can go ahead and solve. So it is going to be like this. Do y square minus 10y plus 9 equal to 0. So what we can do here is I can write 9 plus 1 equal to y plus 9 equal to 0 it is going to be y square minus 9y minus y plus 9 equal to 0 and we can take the common of y y minus 9 minus 1 y minus 9 equal to 0 it is going to be y minus 9 into y minus 1 equal to 0 so either we are going to have y minus 9 equal to 0 which means y equal equal to 9 or we are going to have y minus 1 equal to 0 or y equal to 1. So similar way we have found two values of y. One is y equal to 9 and one is y equal to 1. And we are going to apply the same equation 1 to find the values of x. Very simple. So for y equal to 9, what we can have is x is equal to 10 minus 9 which is 1. And for y equal to 1, x is going to be 10 minus 1 which is going to be 9. So here we have two values and here we have two values here x equal to 1 and y equal to 9 and x equal to 9 and y equal to 1. So another very simple type we can use this linear equation to find the value take the LCM and you will easily get one very simple equation put that value here solve the quadratic equation and you get two sets of values. That is how you solve this one let's move on to the next type. So we move on to question number 14 it is another of a different kind. So here we have a and b as the constants and x and y are our variables and we have x and y at the bottom. Similar type of sums we have solved earlier where we had anything suppose 2 by x plus 3 by y equal to something. So we took that 1 by x equal to something and 1 by y equal to something. So here also we are going to do the same. So we are going to write let 1 by x equal to p and 1 by y equal to q. If I put these values in these two equations then what do we get therefore the equation is going to be ap plus bq equal to 2 and the next equation is going to be s square p square plus b square q square equal to 2. From here this is a linear equation let's find the value of p and we will put the value of p in the next equation. So from here what we get ap is equal to 2 minus bq and p is going to be 2 minus bq by a. This is going to be equation number 1. So we are going to put this value here. So I put the value of p here it is going to be a square into 2 minus bq by a whole square plus b square q square equal to if we write the square we will get a square into 4 minus 4 bq plus b square q square by a square plus b square q square equal to 2. So 
square. S square S square will cancel. We are going to have 4 minus 4 B cube plus B square Q square plus B square Q square minus 2 equal to 0. If we arrange it, we are going to have twice B square Q square minus 4 B cube. 2 minus 2 is 2 equal to 0. If we take 2 common, we are going to have B square Q square minus twice B cube plus 1 equal to 0. So let's continue and what we are going to get 2 is going to side chain, it is going to be 0. This one we can write it like this. See, BQ whole square minus 2 into BQ into 1 plus 1 square equal to 0. So we are getting BQ minus 1 whole square formula. So it is going to be BQ minus 1 whole square equal to 0, which implies BQ minus 1 equal to 0. So Q is going to be 1 by B. Since Q is 1 by B, we can put the value here and find the value of P. So from equation 1, we are going to have P equal to 2 minus B into Q and Q is 1 by B by A. So B, B cancel, it is going to be 2 minus 1 by A, so it is 1 by A. Now that we have P equal to 1 by A and Q equal to 1 by B, we can find the values of X and Y. So this implies 1 by X is equal to A, so X is going to be A and from here we can get that 1 by Y equal to 1 by B is y equal to b. So therefore ultimately what we have is x equal to a and y equal to b. These are the two values of x and y. So that's how you solve question number 14 and that is all for today's video. We have done a lot of sums and all the sums that I missed in the middle, these are because the types that I have done, those sums fall under these types. So I hope you can solve those equations. If you have problems regarding any of those questions, ask me down in the comment section. I will make a video if you want or I can give you the solution in a written format with proper explanation. So thank you everyone for watching and in the next video we will meet with our remaining solutions. Until next time.